Hey, good morning, everybody. Or is it good afternoon? It's good afternoon now. Um, I am on Oregon Springs. We are going to do just a little bit of a um, sugar beet harvest. I have um, Farmer Brian here, uh, happy. He's going to help me do the sugar Hello. beet harvest to finish up this um, the sugar beets. I am on my field 29. I did finish 24, so I have to finish up 29 here, and we will get that done as well. Sounds good. You ready to go, BW? Yes, sir. That's okay. Good looking sugar beets. These are some fine looking sugar beets. I tell you, these are high quality, high class sugar beets. That's you betcha. Oops, I gotta stay in the thing though. <laughs> Question though, what's the difference between the sugar beets you get in the can and these? You can buy sugar beets in a can. Yeah, we oh not sugar beets. We get oh, beets. those are beets. Yeah, no, those aren't sugar beets. Those are just beets. There's a difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the difference in that. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, I'm sure there's a big difference, but yeah. No, these sugar beets, good. they're processed, they're refined, and they are um, put into sugar. sugar. Nice. And then I add it to my coffee. And then you can add it to your coffee, your cornflakes, whatever turns your tractor. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. know anything about the regular beets then? Like the little red, the red ones that, no, I don't. Yeah. Nope. Uh, I don't. The only thing that I really do know the difference of is, um, I may have mentioned this, but, um, when you, in Oregon where they make the sugar beet seed, um, yeah. they, <laughs> they also grow turnips too. And, uh, no, oh. you know, um, I'm sorry, not turnips, radishes. And sometimes there's cross pollination between the radishes and the uh, sugar beets, so there's a genetic flaw. They, they, it's a whatever. So when we plant our sugar beets, if we have that that difference in there, the sugar beets and the the radish, they call them. Um, oh, now why is the name escaping me? Um, it'll come to me. But you can see the really difference between them because in the um, they're real tall and they're red. Um, it's a big difference. But as far oh, as um, what um, the What's beets and the sugar beets, no, I don't know. No, oh, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, my dad likes to grow uh, turnip. Turnips? Yeah, he's yeah. got about 10 acres. He, he grows turnips and turnip greens, eats turnip greens, all kinds of stuff. They take, uh, also, they take uh, palm hearts. Parts of palm trees and boil them up. Oh, okay. And make it like a cabbage. Cool. So, yeah. Of course, they used to eat manatees down here, too. So. Manatees? Yeah, they call them sea cows. Oh, really? That's a little strange. Uh, I don't know. I, I eat just about anything once. <laughs> Especially it's a meat. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier. It's like the only place where you can get boa, or the only place in, in the country where you can get a boa constrictor, an alligator, a panther and a bear all together. So you gotta watch out for, oh and coyotes. You gotta watch out for all that stuff. I have a friend who's a big coyote hunter. Yeah. Yeah. But then I gonna have another friend who who raises um um goats. And yeah. uh the other day she posted that Whoa sorry about that, my bad. Um yeah, that she lost a goat. Oh, yeah. Somebody came in. Well, it wasn't there in the morning, so... Something came in to, um... To take it away. Oh. We had chicken for a while, and my grandpa, he used to have about 50 pigs. On the farm that I inherited. 
I used to play in the corn bins. And when you were talking about uh, people dying, I think I'm filled up. Okay. Oh, no. 55, 56, right? 56, uh, 50, no, well, you're, that trailer is 56,000, yeah. Yeah. I'm over 56 already. No, 59,000. Yeah, there we go. 59,000. 59,000 would be right. And so when you were talking about people falling in the grain bins and, and drowning and things like that, I was like, oh, I used to play in them as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did too. We did too. All right, I'm full. Have a good trip. Yeah. Hopefully I'm going the right way. So let's see. Let's see. How much? I, you know, I wish I would have kept track of how many... Um, beats I had in storage over there because I would have liked to have known that but problem is I lost track and then I tried to catch up and then <laughs> I think I lost track again so that's too bad but I'm assuming by now I think right by now I'm over I think I'm at a million I think I'm at a million liters um, I would so say you got a lot of beats I got a lot of sugar beats Oh, you can never have too many sugar beets. Nope. You got a lot. <laughs> Should be good money. Yep. Hopefully it's good money. Hey, have a good trip. Hope those uh, conveyors work out for you like they weren't a pain in the butt for me. I'll figure it out. But yeah, it sure does, sure does fill up pretty fast when you've got... Um, uh, let's see, this thing is 43,000 liters, so yeah, that's a long time. Or, uh, I mean, a, a big capacity. I think, um, I, you know, I wish I knew that how many tons per liter because um, you know, our neck of the woods um, it's by tons, so our sugar beet harvesters don't haul, don't haul maybe a ton. So, you don't have the big the big um, hopper like these ropas do but then you know we tried out the ropas they had one up here for a big a farm show we call big iron and uh, we, we test we tested one out but our soil conditions it just doesn't work they got we got we got them stuck all the lifting wheels were plugged up with mud yeah it was a big big pain in the butt and then I think the, the model that we tested was Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Jesus. To buy it, so <laughs> that's a lot. You need to grow a lot of sugar beets to to buy a seven hundred and fifty thousand um, dollar um, ropa. That's for sure. Oh yeah. So, it is what it is. But they're fun. They were fun to drive, though. I bet. They they were they were fun to drive, and 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 be honest, it it looks a lot. I mean, they did a good job on the detail on here because. Um, it's exactly like this. Yeah, it's too bad they couldn't. In our soil conditions, they don't. Um, they don't work. We just can't uh, make it work. Yeah. Like the beet lifters that we use, um, they have ones that are called Ferris wheels. So on the back, when the beets come up, it's like this big Ferris wheel that they go around into the hopper, and they don't work in our soil conditions real much either. So. I, it's just just a difference in soil conditions, I guess. Is it sandy soil or? Oh no, no, sandy. it's um, um, not sandy at all. I think you, yeah, I think you, I mentioned you mentioned there was once a glacier there. Yeah, it's a, a it used to be a glacier. So yeah. in our area, it would be like the bottom of the glacier. Because when you, you you leave my area and you go a little bit, you kind of go uphill. And then you can start to see all the rocks. That would be the shoreline of the old glacier. Oh, that's cool. So that's pretty cool. You got mountains in there? No, it's all flat. All flat. Okay. It's all flat. Okay. Yep. We I tell you, yeah. huh? We got real sandy soil. Both in Delaware and, or Maryland and Florida. Yeah, different different soils, different parts of the country. That's for sure. 
I know when I was in school and uh, took a class, soil science and soil fertility, and he'd go out to the fields and he would dig these pits in the fields, and then he would categorize the layers of the soil, you know. And uh, it was, wasn't my favorite class because I, I probably sucked at it. Uh, I wasn't very good at telling the different layers. Organic matter, topsoil, you know, then you get to the clay and you get to the, is it, the farther you go down. But it's really cool that you can yeah. actually see the different layers. Um, but pretty neat. Yeah. But you, you, even around a small little area, even in one field, um, if you dug, um, interesting you know, what the difference is in um, soil characteristics, even in one field. So that was pretty neat. We, I had a, a perk test. Done. You know what that is? A what? Perk test. No. This, uh, okay, well, they dig a hole. Uh, they dug, dug a hole in a couple of my fields because I was going to get a house built on the farm. And uh, to, to see what the soil was like. Okay. And, and so all, all my soil for like four foot down was all sand. Hmm. And you got to have you got to have four foot in order to uh, be able to put a well in. Otherwise, the well will back up and your septic will back up, or your septic will back up and it creates a mess. So you, you got to get a perk test because it's low-lying area. I think we're only like three foot above sea level. So... But, yeah, three foot above sea level? It. Yeah. Something like that. If a wave came, it would it would pretty much mess mess things up. So if we dug down, I, I think we dug down six foot and hit water. Okay. So. But uh, I'm almost wave, full. Are you any are you any close? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, that's cool. I was sitting there running the the. What you call it? How's it going? Uh, is the pile seem to be doing okay? Yeah, the pile was doing good. I was just making sure that they were they were going out evenly. Okay. I'm sorry. I was gonna ask you if you wanted me to come back. <laughs> well, when you're unloaded, yeah. 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 I didn't know. I was gonna ask you. Well, how fast are you loading? Oh, I'm full. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long to fill it. Kind of, kind of ironic that uh, forty-three thousand of sugar beets does not take very long. Um, that was a cool thing about these things: is the capacity. I wish we had an in-game beet cart. I think that'd be. I know that Terra variant has one, but I mean like a, like a pull behind, like a grain cart. If we had oh, a. Yeah. Hey, Brendan. How are you doing? Yeah, I wish we had a pull behind bee cart. A lot, a lot of farmers in my area, um, they made their own. Pretty neat. Oh, wow. Yeah, they they've constructed their own. <laughs> there must be some different kinds of people in my area because one farmer took an old um, an old John Deere tractor and made a sprayer. Um, oh, so wow. a lot of yeah, so a lot of them made um, make their own bee cart. It's pretty simple. It's just oh, you're here. It's just a uh, a big steel cage, so to speak, with the an auger in the middle and an, an unloading arm like that. Oh, okay. Well, I noticed that. I guess from the videos I watch on YouTube of European farmers, they uh, they tend to uh, have newer equipment, nicer equipment. And us Americans, we kind of stick to the same old stuff. Like my neighbor, he's driving around in the 96 case. You know, so things like that. Yeah, I... My neck of the woods, it's all John Deere. It's all, it's all, it's all yeah. we see. You see the, every farm then will have the old, um, <laughs> the, you know, the older model, the, the farm tractor. On our farm, it's a yeah. four, it's a 4440, two-wheel drive 4440. Um, probably gets used. That and the forklift probably get used the most, um, ironically. They're durable, dependable, I guess. 
Well, if if, um, if Air Canada is right, he's saying that we are poor. So us Americans were probably too <laughs> poor to buy all the new machinery, which makes sense probably. Um, I don't know. Either that or we're, we're uh, heavily in debt. Um, I got to tell you, though, I, um, I live just about an hour from the Canadian border, Air Canada 111, and um, one of my favorite times in my life was shortly after high school. I was up in Manitoba um, hunting, and the uh, and the uh, farmer there that we were hunting on his land asked me if I wanted to do some combining because I had combining experience. So it was pretty cool that um, I was combining uh, canola Canada. and uh, wheat in Canada. And then one time I was up north just on the border between Canada and North Dakota and half of my header of the combine was in Canada and the other half was in the United States. <laughs> they didn't put a wall up to keep us out? <laughs> we don't have a, there's no wall on the Canadian border for some reason, I don't know why. They probably should have one if you read all the stories that happens between our border between the States and Canada. Um, Matter of fact, there was just a story about a, uh, a, a the name will come me, a famous singer, a girl singer who was just got caught having drugs into the Canadian border just north of me. Um, yeah, can't remember her name. It'll come to me. But, you know, like, most of the time, uh, canola harvest in either North Dakota or Canada, they put them in swaths. And then you, you come by the combine in a pickup header. Yeah, I saw that other pull now, so. Hey, pull. We'll See you later. You. Hey, Bowie. Bowie Jumeyer, how you doing? I tell you one thing, though, uh, BW. This is a heck of a lot faster than me doing it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it a very cool map. If I up. Huh? Yeah. It would have been faster if I, I didn't sit there and play with the uh, the augers. Or not the augers, the uh, Camper Day name. When I was unloading the beats last time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it, my OCD kicked in and I was um, I was too busy um, trying to make sure the pile is, is good. Farmer Miller, good to see you. How you doing? Good afternoon to you. Um... Yeah, my, my, my OCD got with the pile and then it, it annoyed me. But I, you know, I can't believe I unloaded like 12 loads of sugar beets and I finally realized that the the auger, the wheels turned to make it like a semi-circle. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I couldn't believe it that after all that time I uh, I couldn't finally figure that out. But, because I was moving it back and forth and all that good stuff. Doing it the hard way. I was doing it the hard way. You know, let's see, what did I say this was? I'm just kind of curious now. This is a, um, is it nine rows? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so you're taking nine rows of sugar beets at one time. Um, our lifters now these days are 12 row. So you're doing 12 rows at a time. But, um, you know, at the hopper is... I think it would probably take, let's see, one, maybe six or eight hoppers of our beat lifters to fill a semi. A semi is about 24 ton. So, I mean, it's a constant process. That's why, that's why you've got the lifters always going, and then you've got about four or five semis. So every time you come to the field, you'll, you'll load. So the semi never stops. I mean, you're never sitting there waiting, but the lifter has to wait a lot. So the lifter driver is the one that gets to take the little naps now and then. Especially at three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning when uh, dead tired. Yep. Did you take? A oh, there you go. I was wondering if you took a nap. <laughs> no, I didn't take a nap. I couldn't see you. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised how fast you're making it back here. I thought it would take you a little longer. Go up on the pile and dump some more out.
I think I got a lot of silage work. Single player silage work under my belt. So I'm kind of learned the system. And when I sell silage, I only sell one or two trucks a day. Game day. Okay. That way the price. It, it lasts oh, yeah, it doesn't, pretty much doesn't move. Yeah, it go. It gives it time to go back up. Yeah, this is field number twenty nine, boy. Um, just um, let's see, the cow farm is straight ahead there. Um, so I had sugar beets on field twenty nine, and I had sugar beets on field twenty three, or no, twenty four. I'm sorry, twenty four. So that's where all my sugar beets came from. But um, yeah. I'm just curious, Farmer Miller, what is the NBA game tonight? Who's plays, who plays tonight? Isn't basketball over with? No, no. I think it's the Celtics and that. Yeah, after my, after my Wolves got their butt kicked by Houston, I quit watching, so. And then, the, and then my Wild team, they got beat by um, the Winnipeg Jets, and how that ever happens is beyond me. Probably those Canadians again, you know. Which ironically, Winnipeg never, you know, Winnipeg had a team when I was growing up playing hockey in high school, and then they um, left, and then they got another, and then they uh, got a team back. Warriors, Rockets, okay, I got you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, yeah, Houston beat my uh, Wolves, so I quit watching. Uh, Celtics beat my Sixers. So, they're out too. in Houston I went to one basketball game down there it was the school district that I was working in we had um, the school district night at the Houston Rockets game and they were playing and they just happened to be playing the Wolves the only only professional basketball game I've ever been to that was back when we actually weren't that bad because we had I think that was it was that the time maybe that was Kevin Garnett and um, and uh, and uh, who was the other guy that we had? Latrell Spree Spreewell, was he on that team? I can't remember. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. These guys are getting a pretty good team now. Well, we have talent. Yeah, yeah, they can actually play one whole game without screwing things up. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. That's all I can say. I have never had any experience, um, Farmer Miller, with um, field peas. No, I have never. We don't. Um, I suppose in my garden, but not in a in a big field like that. Um, the only other thing that in my area that um, we have grown is um, a lot of beans, a lot of edible beans, navy beans, pinto beans. Um, but field peas, you know. I remember in college studying field peas. They look cool. I mean, they really do. I can imagine that a that a um, field of um, field peas look pretty pretty cool. I love sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas. Yeah. Pretty much like the peas that you buy, but they're still in their shell. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that would be the state of Minnesota. The land of 10,000 lakes. Actually, 11,000 something, but 10,000 <laughs> is a good round number. Matter of fact, I should actually be at the lake today. Where have I been? Corn in? Huh? Nebraska Cornhuskers, yeah. 
Hey there, Stargazer Tractor. That's how you tractors. How you doing? Nebraska, Nebraska. Where have I? Well, I just traveled through Nebraska, but I want to see if I did any combine in Nebraska. I don't think I don't. I think we skipped Nebraska. Um, I have relatives in Omaha. Are you full? Yeah, I'm full. I'm waiting for you to make the turn, and I'll take off. All right. Could you imagine doing all these sugar beets with the with the little um, <laughs> the standard two row one? Uh, you'd be here till Christmas. You better have it on twenty four hour or twenty four day seasons. <laughs> yeah, because it's really take you a while to to do the sugar beets. Uh, that's yeah. one thing I think sugar beets kind of get a bad rap in this game because they're they're hard, they, they take a lot of time to do. But and they're not worth anything. Well, they they are if you if you do a full field of the full harvest. Oops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think I, I guess when I was playing Sanof, Sanofka. Yeah. And I did a full field, and that got me started. I made like three hundred thousand dollars off of that field. And that was like one of the first things. But then I was like, I'm not doing sugar beets ever again. Yeah, I think I'll make pretty good money. I mean, I think I'll have. At I'll have over a million liters of sugar beets. So sugar beets right now is, um, oh, I can't even, so small, I can't even see that. Two, 227. So, you know, at that price, it'd be 227,000 just in sugar beets. So, I don't think that's too bad. It's like, I think grass is probably the, make the most mm -hmm. money off grass. Yeah. I think that's Bob McClain did that a video. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was pretty cool. He does a lot of that cool stuff, which I, which I love. Um, hmm. Pretty neat. Um, comparisons. Yeah, the comparisons, and he did a lot on season stuff, which, um, which was really neat. And then he has that one spreadsheet that he did that you can uh, plug in how many animals you have, the number of seasons. And then it tells you what, how much hay you need, how much straw you need per animal to get through the year. Yep. So that's pretty cool. My last load didn't do too well, so I had to empty it. The so last load you're trying to unload? No, the one before. Oh. It didn't. It didn't take too well. So. Oh. I got quite a big pile here. So I'm gonna be a while a while before I come back. It'd be nice if we had two of these. I should have I should have uh yeah. Two uh Grim Grammy. Crampy. Crampy. Oh well, I got eighteen eighteen thousand liters, so I have a little bit of time there. Okay. But I can unload for a while if you if you come back and want to do ropa. <laughs> it's kind of, oh, no. it's, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, I'm using the, what you know, imagination ad. I'm using the fancy uh, GPS that we have in here, of course, you know, because we have the roll finders on there, so, um, a.k.a. hired worker. So it's just <laughs> a matter of uh, making the turn. I think I've told that story before. Um... Hello, drummer dude. It's going well. How you doing? Are you farming today? And uh, if you are, well, what map are you uh, are you playing? Be curious to know. Um, but anyway, I was saying I, I told that one story about um, a guy who was working for us. He had an 8120, and a John Deere 8120, and, and he was harrow packing. Uh, when we plant sugar beets, we'll um, spread it, cultivate it, and then before the planter comes in, it'll get harrow packed. And he was going up and down the field, and the theory is he fell asleep. Well, mm -hmm. of course, the auto steer was in, so the tractor's just going to keep going until you turn. And he went straight off the edge of the field into the ditch and up to a tree. Oh. Did he wake up? Well, when his head hit the windshield, he woke up. Oh, okay. Did some damage to the arrow packer, but... 
But, um... <laughs> Drummer Dude is doing silage on this map, and uh, are you putting it in the BGA or your bunker for yourself? Because I was going to do my corn. Um, my corn, I was going to make silage and put that in the BGA bunker. But I did this map on hard mode, so my silage price is um is two fifty. No, four twenty five. No. Yeah, it says four twenty five. I did hard mode on this or maybe I didn't do hard no, I didn't do hard mode on this map, sorry. That was normal yeah. mode. <laughs> this is normal. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, because it doesn't it barely goes over two fifty if you do uh, hard mode. Yeah. Not like um lawfolds or drumards where you got oh Crime and he was, I see over 2,000, 1,500, 1,800. Wow. Drummer dude filled both his bunkers for cattle are fully filled. That's a lot of silage. How, many, how many cattle do you have? That'd be the next question. How many liters? <laughs> how many liters is, is a full bunker? I, I don't know. Yeah. And halfway full. Uh, well, that's my... Go ahead. And he uh, halfway filled the uh, BJ, so he's got a lot of silage. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, I found it kind of cool, and I was... Oh, look at that. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you got any potatoes? Huh? You got any potatoes? Potatoes? Uh, great demand. Yeah, great demand for potatoes just came up. I haven't got any great demands. I like how you can actually oh, Mark? walk into the... Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're having fun, ain't you? I know. You want to trade? Oh, yeah. You know. Okay. I'll, I'll drive truck for a little bit. 2,000 cattle. Holy buckets. That's a lot of cattle. Oh. Are you on... Uh, huh? You just shut off uh, the helper once you get up to the end of turn? Yeah, then I just make my turn and then start the helper, start the GPS again. Um, okay. Is what I've been doing. Two thousand no, cows. That's a lot of cows. That's a lot of cows. That would be a lot of manure, too. Yeah. Especially if you had to um, muck it out yourself. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Mr. Well. You gotta back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, no, I didn't get it. No pressure. No pressure. I've never, I never drove the Roper before. I know it. It, it shows. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, we were just talking about that drummer dude, um, Farmer Brian here and I, that we were uh, um, talking about how much more enjoyable multiplayer is because I really haven't done it up until now um, we've done a few things he helped me out on my, my map and I went on his map but um, how different is that he can actually play this game and actually talk to people and uh, and get stuff done so yeah that's pretty cool we were cussing technology earlier and thanking it later yeah exactly yeah, it's a little hard. It's a little bit of trouble to set up, but um, otherwise, it's pretty cool. Going through all the mods. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the big thing about you know when you do this. Um, um, the difference in um, mods. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. <coughs> but if anybody wanted to, um, we. Uh, set up a, a multiplayer map on 
aggravation and uh, kind of got everything set up to go so if anybody wants to join that um, send me a message either uh, make a comment or um, or uh, send me a thing on my Facebook page and then we'll um, set you up so that's what we're gonna do and just do a um, do a uh, little multiplay series on um, aggravation so if anybody want to do that that's gonna do that probably I don't know if we'll get do the first one today or not I don't know it depends that was the plan but it's getting kind of late Yeah, it, went crazy. yeah, it might kick out because when you get closer to the road, so yeah, yeah, right. it probably does kick out a little bit. Nope, you don't want to do it. You have to do it by hand. Right. Yep, I gotta figure out what the buttons are. Yeah, it's just to start it the same way. It's just one button, and then like this little one thing button. in the middle here. Um, yeah. See right here, right here is these two row finders. So, and and we have them on our lifters in real life. So what the beat's going to go in between these, and if it slides off a little bit, this will slide it over. But if you put this thing kind of on one row, it'll um, okay. center you down there until you can engage the um, auto steer, okay. aka. Oh wait, I'm full. What the heck am I doing? I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Well, I, I'm curious to see how, how good your pile is here. I'm pretty sure it's terrible right now. Oh. So you ruined my pile. Well, I was playing with it a, a little bit, then he told me to get back, and I was like, <laughs> oh, I can't yeah, well. just dump and leave. I think this is a whole lot better than uh, doing it yourself. Oh, heck yeah. I was going nuts doing that last field by myself. Yeah. Yep. I forgot to mention that. I think it was field 21 of Sognowska that was all sugar beets. It was like a big long one, and I did it with the little, the little grimming. Uh, is it the grimming or the... Homer, the Homer sugar beet lifter. Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah, I think it took me like four hours. You made a pile right in front of my thing, man. I'm sorry. You're fired. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But you got you got to finish the sugar beet harvest before that, because otherwise. Let's see. Now I'm gonna have my auger troubles again, ain't I? Where were you piling it up at? What's that? The sugar beef. Where were you piling them? Well, in front of the conveyor there. <laughs> oh, that's where I put it. Oh, I'll oh. get it. I'll get it. When I bring the auger back, it'll go. Oh, okay. There's just a big pile sitting there. So I'm wondering what, what was that all about. Yeah, it just would stop. So that's why I was running it. And then you told me to come back. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Seems to be working okay. We needed, yeah, that's why I was thinking we needed two conveyor belts. Oh, that's a big pile of beets. You know, <laughs> that, you know the next problem I'm going to have is when I have to sell all this stuff. Oh yeah. I'm sure you're going to get about a dollar per liter, or thousand liters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get more. You gotta figure out a way to set it up so you can have a dump. Well, I could construct, I you know, I could construct a um, a uh, cell point and <laughs> just auger it into the yeah. cell point. Um, yeah. A little far fetched for me, but uh, I could. It's not too so far because they got augers that you drop off in real life, right? At the house or the warehouse. 
No, after it's after it's piled. Um, after it's piled. Yeah, drummer dude, I got it. Um, I'll figure out how to do that after I get done here, but uh, most definitely. Um, there, that seems to be working okay. I'll get that pile cleaned up. Right, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit though. But yeah, I suppose I you know I. I could take a, uh, I could take a, you know, you, you could put a placeable out here, a root crop storage, or a cell point, and then just put a conveyor from here to the pot, the, that, that would sell it, but, but. But you could put a, you could put a placeable at the placeable area, and set up your conveyor belts, just sell it there, and just truck them in once a day or twice a day. Yeah, yeah, I know. During the winter yeah. time. Yeah. That's what I do with the silage. Not at all. My son there. is 13, 13 and he plays all the time, so. Happy birthday, by the way. Um, yeah, but what I want to do is I want to. Um, um, get that. Um, that. Um, Ropa. Oh, what's it called? The. Mouse? Yeah, the Ropa Moss, Mouse, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Moss 5. Or, yeah. And then that's what I'm going to use. I want to try that and use that um, to unload it. Oh, okay. And, and then make my piles. And that's what I wanted, that's what I wanted to do to um, load trucks and unload these um, Quonset things. So that was kind of my theory behind it. I saw a video where in Europe they just dump them on the side of the the field and the they field, come yeah. by with the mouse. Well, yeah, they come by with the mouse and pick it up. Yeah, we do that. In a, we do that in a sense. You know, we have these big piling yeah. stations. It's a big piler that has two sides to it. So a semi drives on the one side, the other one drives on the other side, and you dump you dump into the hopper of the piler, and then that makes yeah. the big piles, and they stay there until April of the following year. So. Um. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. The cell point could be like the station where you where you drop it off at. Right, right. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. This is taking a while. I'm sorry, man. I screwed up with my first beet harvest. <laughs> you screwed up on your yeah. You're not you're not going to be invited back for next year. All right. Yeah, we had we had one driver for us, a beat truck driver. He said that he was going to be a good beat truck driver, and he showed up to to drive. He had white tennis shoes on and shorts. This is the first of October, uh, but he said, "Don't worry, because I graduated from truck driving school." Uh, well, that's the first <laughs> sign that you got to watch out for. Um, and at the end of the year, I mean, he had a, he had a heck of a year. He, you know, would always get stuck. He took on a drive shaft. Um, didn't go real well. At the end of the year, he said, oh, I'll, I'll come back next year. And it's like, don't worry, dude. Don't call us. We'll call you kind of thing. Um, yeah. But, yeah. But, you know, um, but, um, you know, when you get down to the point where you're so desperate to get drivers, you don't, you can't be picky. What's the pay like? Is it like minimum wage or more? Oh no, no. Uh, well, you work twelve-hour shifts, um, so it, it'd be either. Some people go midnight to noon. Some people go eight p.m. to eight a.m. Six p.m. Six a.m. It all depends. I mean, there really is not a set time. Uh, and either you drive rotabeater, which is the thing that takes the foliage off the sugar beets, def defoliator, or you'll drive truck or you'll drive lifter. Um, and uh, I suppose this year maybe twenty eight, twenty nine dollars an hour. I suppose. Wow, that'd be nice. So yeah, so like a lot of people in our area, um, you get a lot of retired drivers, um, retired guys that want to do it just for a little bit extra money, 
Um, or some people actually take vacation. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the video where a guy was come up from Florida in his camper. Like he yeah, that's, about. yeah, he did. He, 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 he an older guy. He's retired from. Um, um, oh, he was retired from. He worked at Ford Motor Company. Um, and he retired from Ford Motor, and then he lives in Florida. Lives by Daytona Beach, and he'd pull his fifth wheel camper up here, and he would come like, you know, second week of September, and stay in his camper until like the end of November. Yeah. I think to me, it would be a little cold in the northwest Minnesota in the end of September, but hey, so be it. Yeah. Hello, Dotto. Dotto03, how you numbers. doing? Huh? I did some numbers. 12 hours a day for 30 days is $10,000 a month. Well, you are not. You won't go for 30 days. Um, oh. You'll, you'll probably get, on average, maybe 10 to... 10 to 15, 10 to 18 shifts, sometimes maybe 20 shifts. So take, you know, 12 times okay. 15 would give you the number of shifts you'd get, number of hours. I, I, I am too. I'm not a, I'm not a Ford guy. I, I had, I've had Chevys. I'm a Dodge guy. I got a Dodge, a Dodge guy. I, I had, my dad has a friend that has a has a Ram pickup, and I yeah. called it a Dodge one day. He about yelled at me. He said, "It is not a Dodge. It's a Ram." It's a oh, Ram. Okay. Yep. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Change the name. It makes no difference. It's made by Chrysler. A Mopar. Yeah. How come I'm so slow at this? What was that? Dunking? I'm loading here. Are you full? Yeah, I'm full. Yeah. What what the, what am I doing wrong here? I just dump it. And I know. I know. I that's why I'm trying to clean it up. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. You dump a little bit out of a time. I like what I like what Stargazer just said. If you can dodge it, you can ram it. <laughs> I still got 34,000 liters to unload. The first load went fine. It it cleaned up everything but a little a little mess and what I usually do is I'll dump it and at the end I'll come and clean up all the mess. Okay. But that's up to you. I am going to go find a tree though. Have fun. <laughs> This is taking forever. I want my I want my old job back. Never mind, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Farmer Miller, I have. I've I've seen it. it it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't I don't know who it is. Of course, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who he is personally. Um, and at the top of my head, I can't remember where where he is located but yeah he does some cool videos we've been playing around with that lately um, <laughs> putting GoPro, GoPros on uh, implements and tractors and stuff like that so I am interested to see how that's going to turn out um, so yeah so that would be kind of fun there, there, I've seen some and there's I can't I don't remember who it is um, <laughs> yes Susie cream cheese I am still beating uh, this is a never-ending process. Um, it goes on forever. Now, why you stopped? But anyway, I forget what I was saying. But yeah, um, 
there's a YouTube channel from the UK that does that stuff, and it's so it's so well done. I mean, it's edit, you know, so well edited. Um, pretty cool. The different camera views of on implements and tractors and in cab and out of cab and and. Uh, Nope, not Missouri. You got to go farther north to the other state that starts okay. with M. If you were from Missouri, you'd be Farmer Mizzou. Mizzou, yes, Mizzou. Farmer Miss. <laughs> Farmer Miss you. Mississippi? Nope. <laughs> M-I-N-N-E-S-O-A-T-A. -N -N -E the Mississippi starts in my state. That's that's that happens. Um, it was found by a guy named Henry H. Schoolcraft. There, I think I almost got your mess cleaned up now. Sorry right, about that. Once again. Yeah, I want my I want my ropa. I want my ropa back. <laughs> yeah, you were you were close enough. Okay, I'm finally done. Hey, thank you very much there, Dado. Appreciate that. Glad to have you. Well, it's been 52 minutes, and have we got half done? We were going pretty good uh, until I decided to, to drive semi for a little bit. I think we got about probably 12, 12 more rows. Okay. Uh, this would be a... Um, um, what do you call this? Party game? No. Let's uh, live stream. No, well, no, not a not a multiplayer. It'd be a. Um... Yeah, it's multiplayer. Well, he asked the question, but a party, uh, share par share party, whatever you call it. I don't know. Oh, uh, play together. <laughs> play, yeah. There, there you go. There you go. Yeah. No, this is uh, PS4. Why is it not taking my beats? That's unloading. No, it wasn't filling up my my. Uh... Huh. What in the heck? It won't take anything. You broke the game with your beats. <laughs> I, I broke the trailer. Because uh, I can't, I can't unhook it. I can't do anything with it. Uh oh, it froze up. Might have to buy another trailer. Can you get out? Or you can drive. Yeah, but I can't unhook the trailer. I can't uh, uncover it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. You, uncover I, I it and cover it. Huh? You got, you got the grain door open. No, I had it. Oh. No, it's open. I'm looking at it. You're about to hit me. Well... Get the heck out of the way. Oh, yeah, the green door is open. Why is that open now? Is that how you're unloading? I was unloading the big, uh, with the big... Yeah, no, I didn't change that, but now I can't, I can't cover it either. Hmm. Huh. I had a problem with the door closing. It took a while for it to close. Oh, I know it does that, but why won't it, it won't close? How do you close it? <laughs> <laughs> the green door. 
the same way the same way you closed the I know but I am and nothing happens uh, don't know I broke the green door oh there it goes there look it goes. at that delayed reaction um, <laughs> my yeah, PTO my PT my PTO shaft just engaged or a yeah. uh, green door wouldn't yeah. be opened by a PTO shaft but uh, yeah there how's that that's good. That, those crimpy uh, trailers are all like that. Well, uh, when you manually unload it and then close it again? Yeah, I don't. Or it takes a while a for it to uh, close. Yeah, I don't have a problem with the Jospins, but for some reason, it's all the crimpy. Yeah, Farmer Miller. Um, yeah, it, it, it is. It is interesting to see the difference in um, farming practices and equipment throughout the state. Like we have a, my son plays baseball with a with a good with a good friend of his, and his family farms, and um, they're probably I don't know, not too far from me, maybe thirty miles or whatever, and um, they are constantly battling rocks and using rock pickers and and stuff like that. Because they're so they have so much more rocks. I mean, you know, even thirty miles away. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, rock pickers are pretty cool, though. Um, I like rock pickers. A lot better than doing it by hand. I tell you that much. Every once in a while, I'll uh, if it's either spring um, spring field workers or even combining or something, you hit a rock and uh, you missed a roll. Oh, did I? Yes, yeah, Susie, I broke a trailer. It's a trend. It really is. It's um, yeah, not very good. I'm always one row over, one row. In. Oh. What's the matter? Uh, just stopping and starting. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. What's going on? I was hitting the button and I hit the wrong button. I'm full. See you later. Right. I'm gonna go try to match this thing up, see if I can break the trailer again. Um, <laughs> yeah, good, good stuff. I suppose I could have got that big 70,000 liter trailer. But then I'd just be sitting there longer dumping it out anyways. Oh, yeah. If I knew how much I had in storage, um, I would sell the rest. So how many loads have you dumped? Two, three? Two. Two? And I did one. So that's three. only three loads off that field? No, I no, did you three, done. so you did... Yeah. Hello, John from Mississippi. Am I, we were just talking about your lovely state. Were you driving this out of cab or in cab? Ah, a little bit of both. Oh, okay. 
I just started driving out of the cab because I keep lining up the roads wrong. Well, the good-looking girl who was driving for me did a fine job. I didn't have a problem with it. She's still driving. Oh, well, then she should have no problem then. I think. Nope, I got a guy. I would get a guy. What mods would you want there, Stargazer Tractors, on PC that can't get on PS4? Or, I mean, the, the ones that you'd want on PS4 or Xbox that you can't get. There are some pretty cool mods, though. Um, John Deere. John Deere. <laughs> um, bail strop, bail buy points, strop, bail strop buy points. Um, that new water one out seems pretty cool. The water trough one. Well, you have the plumber come out and put water in? Well, no, yeah, it's like the piping. So all you do is you yeah. go to the water and then just turn the valve. Yeah. Which, you know, I suppose in the real world, like my buddy who's a cattle rancher, you know, they just have wells dug with pumps that pump up the water oh, into yeah. a trough. Yep. What is the price of sugar beans? Maybe I should just sell the rest of it. Two... No, we... yeah. Two thirty at Pete's Diner. Why would Pete Diner, Pete's Diner be doing with sugar beets? I have no idea. I can sell sugar beets at Pete's Diner. Yeah. What is Pete's Diner going to do with sugar beets? Oh, well, I should dump some on the ground here. I am, uh, I'm slacking. That's one thing I like to see change. What's that? Is it should go to a refinery, like sugar beets should go to oh, a... It should go to a, a sugar beet processing plant, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the sugar and beet itself, unless it's processed, ain't going to do you any good. Um, yeah, my gr my grandma used to work for Kraft Foods, and they would always bring in trucks full of cocoa beans and you know yep. all kinds of stuff to make salad dressings and everything. Well, I can tell you, um, out of high school when I was in college the first time, um, I worked at the sugar processing plant in our area, and. Um, I worked in the warehouse side of it. The warehouse side is it where you would, the final product would come in, you'd you'd either put it into the bags that you go to the grocery store and buy, you know, the five pound bags, 20 pound bags. Then we even made pallets of sugar. Bulk sugar would go on this pallet and they would go on rail cars and they would go all the way to Texas into a warehouse and be stored. Oh, wow. And then the rail cars, the hopper bottom rail cars would be full of bulk sugar and that would go to Hershey, Pennsylvania um, Coca-Cola oh, yeah. um, all those places yeah. and I Hershey can't remember but I wanted to say that I, mean, I might be way off so maybe I shouldn't say but but $80,000 for one rail car comes to mind 80000 wow 80,000 worth of sugar, or how much? Yeah, 80,000 dollars worth of sugar. Oh, wow. And then sometimes, they would, real cars that went, like, let's say, to Hershey or Coca-Cola or wherever, uh, would get rejected for some reason. You know, maybe a seal would break in transit, or they'd open it up and it was, you know, some moisture got in there, so it was hard or whatever. And they'd come back to the plant, and then you'd have to bring it in, unload that sugar, and have to go back to the processing plant again. But. Huh. So they refine it? Well, yeah, it just goes through again? the process, and it kind of, you know, kind of gets yeah. um, refined a little bit. But. Yeah, it is what it uh, is. That's kind of weird that they ship, they would ship it to Texas. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know why they would put it in these big boxcars in the railroad, 
and go to Texas to be stored. I don't I don't know the point. Maybe it's just maybe they got shipped out of Galveston or something. I don't know. I don't know what the point of. Or... Uh, Houston's a real big port. Part. Port, yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost full. Oh, you're uh, not full I yet? Okay. Uh, yeah, I filled on the last. I got like a two, six. Now, I did I have a comment the other day, and maybe somebody oh, can point this out to me, but I don't realize, are you able to set the auger on a worker? Don't know. I thought you were telling me that it was possible. Okay, so now I set it on a worker, so now it's just going to go back and forth like that? But what happens when the pile gets too high? It won't do anything, will it? I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. It's on a worker. Is it? Amazing. I hired That's a worker awesome. for my conveyor. How long it'll last is beyond me, but we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> That's that's something I love about this game. You can I, I still learn things about it. Yeah, it's amazing. Like the other day on um on um Sussex Farm. I went to hook my yeah. bucket back up to the to the payload or the wheel loader, and it was goofy. I'm like, what in the world is going on with this thing? I had no idea it had that extra hydraulic tilt function thing, that high lift or whatever they called it. I had no idea. I was totally, totally lost in thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, and I finally figured that out. <laughs> well, just, just like the conveyor. Uh, 12, 15 loads, I finally figured out that you can turn the wheels on the auger to make it spin like that. Yeah. I haven't even started, like... Oh, uh, my green door's open on. again. Yeah. <laughs> I, broke, I broke it again. Uh, yeah. Why is it doing that? You, you hit the button and it'll take about 15 seconds. There it goes. Okay. Well, now I must not be lined up right. You want to truck a little bit more? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I have the I have a worker on the uh, on the auger. All right, you got to switch the grain door still. I don't, you'll have to double check that. I, I didn't I didn't All change right. anything so. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up the help window. <sighs> Get side back. All right, I've got $42.99. All right. Ah, oh, stay in the thing. That's another thing I hate about the controller. There's a row. Huh? He ran over a row. I ended on with like 12 oh, sugar beets left. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so sick of sugar beets at this point in time in my life that uh, I, I don't care if they stay in there anymore. Uh... Almost done. I'm gonna move over here as soon as I get caught up, so you can just wait a minute. Okay. I agree with you. I agree with you, Susie. Um, I hope there's some additional crops put into. Um, FS19. I think I think one theory is rice, um, and um, what else have I heard? Rice, and uh, I can't remember what the other one was. But yeah, different crops. I, I like that factory option too. That's that's a cool thing that that PC has, where they um, have all these different fat manufacturing and processing plants that they can. Uh, uh, create things with. I think that's. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, maybe maybe we'll get that. 
I heard something about uh, Xbox was able to, you could have like third party uh, mods, maybe. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I, there's probably a lot of rumors that, that go on. Oh, um, yeah. I've heard rumors about... Um, John Deere's coming. Yeah, John Deere's coming and... Uh, but you know, it's interesting oh, because really? with, the, with the Bobcat skid steer, um, the modders, ARM team, right? Yeah. They went out and got a license from Bobcat to create it. So that means that any, if that's true, that means any modder can go out and get a license from any manufacturer to use their name and it'll work. Yeah. But getting that that um, I'm interested, I would be interested to see the Farming Classics, that mod that was supposed to come out. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, there's some cool maps down the pipe. The creamy, ma the creamery map, Lone Oak. Um, I wonder what ever happened to the that um, uh, Skeleton Farm, the charity map. I never heard anything about that. That looked pretty cool. Are you full? How much do I got over there? Oh, I still got some over there. Crap. Yeah. Tell you what, just Small bring world. back my cultivator and we'll just cultivate it up. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so, so sick of sugar beets. How many days have you been doing sugar beets? How many days? Yeah. Well, uh, this is third day, I think. Yeah, whole week. Yeah. Yeah, what, turned, what was supposed to be a fun and exciting thing um, turned into um, a chore. But it's okay. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. It's okay. Just take that line. Oops, look at that. I missed it. I'm driving like you now. <laughs> so I get back and the worker is just going backwards and forth and you're not dumping anything. It's not dumping anything? Yeah. Oh, the pi did the pile run out? No. It was just running back and forth. It's out now. But oh. No, but I'm saying the dumping. pile in front of the conveyor, was that empty or? No. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, I didn't think the worker would, um, would stay there and unload the whole pile because the worker can't, I don't, the worker can't judge how high my pile is getting if it needs to move forward or not. So. Yeah, and now that it's empty, he's just running back and forth over the same spot. He didn't. He only moved maybe maybe six foot over the pile. Yeah. Let's, let's see if I can change him a little bit. Looks like we got about half a bunker. Half a what? Oh. Almost to the end. Almost to the end. We're gonna need somebody to wash the ropa after this. It's getting pretty dirty. Yeah. You know, I think I've done about, I don't know, 24, 25 sugar beet harvests. And, 
That was that's the worst job. Washing the sugar beet lifter at the end of harvest. That and the rotor beater. Mm -hmm. I bet it gets pretty dirty and muddy. Well, the rotor beater, you know what it is in our the ones that we use in our area. It's uh, three drums in the front and the back. The um, the first one would be metal flails. And it, the drum just goes around in a circle, and what it does is it beats so it beats so fast that it just beats up the vegetation off the sugar beet. Um, but then you know you get wet and mud, and that whole thing is just caked full of sugar beet leafage and mud and yuck, and it stinks. That's the worst part about. Whoa! Come back here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I uh. I jumped out of the, the rope as it was going down the road. <laughs> there, I did it again. Stop doing that. What I do is I kind of hold on to the R1 button. Or the yeah, the R1 yeah button. see, I wasn't pushing in. I wasn't pushing in the L1 button uh, far enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got to yeah, you gotta just hold it down longer than the other button. Let's see, I gotta make another split. Hate to do it. Oh, I feel like I can just go on this end over here. I would have to say I'm at least over a million liters by now. I'd have to be. But I won't know until I sell it. Susie, is there really a fireworks mod? But yeah, if there is, definitely a load of fireworks after this field is done with. It might actually, it might involve a few barley pops too, I suppose. A couple malt beverages. You know, speaking of that, just, what is, what, yeah, today's Sunday, of course it is. Um, yeah. My state just changed the law that you could actually buy that on a Sunday now. Any close? Okay. Huh? <laughs> I'm trying not to mess up. Oh, don't worry about messing up at this point. I don't care anymore. You could you could put them on the roof of my house over there. I don't care. I'm going to try to do that. And here I was thinking that this field was going to be the smaller one. It wouldn't take very long. Well, of course, of course, the other one was much bigger. It took much longer. Um, that's for sure. Well, I have 30, 34,000 liters on, and I probably got, so it'll be one full, one full semi-load and then a partial. Can you empty out before you go back down? Huh? Do you want me to empty out before you go back down? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. Yeah, here, I'll empty on you. Or we could just drive around in circles. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there you go. Yeah, I may have benches on lifters. Um, we have a, we have a, it's like a little white plastic pole kind of come down here. So the drivers yeah. would know how um, close to get to the boom. Because you could look through your mirror and then see that. Yep. You could either, you can go empty that. Because okay. I'll get the rest on. You'll get the rest on here on a on a uh, load, so and then that'll be it, Farmer Brian. We are done. <laughs> How long has it take, taken us so far? Uh, one hour and twenty-one minutes. Oh, hey, Nicholson Farm, Nichol Nichols Nicholson Farmstead. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, one hour and twenty-one minutes. I think my semi driver just kind of left. <laughs> I think he's gone. Uh, I'll do it myself now. Okay. Yeah, if you're just stopping in, um, Farmer Brian was helping me out on this map as well as another map, and I wanted to do this sugar beet harvest and be done with it. And I thought, eh, you know, I'll just do it myself. But then he realized that. Um, it's a lot of work, so he came in and helped me out, and he was driving semi, but I see he just uh, he just vanished. So who knows where he went? But um, so we'll see. But yeah, this is going this is going pretty good. I think I have uh, well, I've said it many times, well over a million liters, I think, of sugar beets. So it'll be interesting to see um, when it comes time to get rid of it, how many I had. Because I, I was trying to keep track, and then I lost track, and then I tried to go back and figure it out, and I just wasn't sure, so I said, the heck with it. I'm just going to sell it, and then um, and then see what happens. So I won't know until I sell it. But should be a pretty good should be a pretty good profit, I think. I need, I need the money, because I think I'm... I can't remember how much I owe on this map. I think I owe quite a bit. Or maybe I don't owe anything on this map. I can't remember. Um, do a, do another field? I don't have any more sugar beets, so I can't do another field. Uh, and even if there was more, I would just plow them under. Because um, I've seen enough sugar beets. Um, the only other field that I have... Let's see, I had... I had a... wheat Two wheat fields. I've combined them. So they've been done, and I've had two um, two uh, soybean fields, and I've combined them. So all I had left was the sugar beets, and the uh, I have a corn field uh, that I'm going to make for silage into the BGA. So this is the end of it. After this is done, then it's just corn to put into the BGA. Um, yeah, it's a lot of sugar beets. Yep. But filling them into, you know, and uh, Susie had a, Susie had a good good idea. I could have maybe made a big pile on the ground. And when I started this, I didn't think that I would have this many sugar beets. <laughs> so I didn't think that my pile would be that high. So I put them in that in those quantities at the farm there. Um, but in reality, it would have been a lot faster if I would have picked a spot, put them on the ground, and then um, got rid of them that way, or just kind of sold them as I go. But I was just kind of waiting to see um, what kind of price I could have got waiting until sugar beets are um, are worth the most because sugar beets right now is worth um, 230 232 yeah 232 um, seasons sugar beets are going to be worth the most 
yeah, in the winter time. So really not much, not much difference. I guess I could have just. Um, Could have just sold them. Well, that'll, this will wrap it up. My sugar beet harvest is done. Thank heavens. I am sick of it. Um, next time, or uh, let's see. Next time, well, next time is corn, and then after that it'll be cold enough to sell these sugar beets. So then I'll be able to figure out how much is in here. But uh, I, think, <laughs> I think my truck driver, he either said, the heck with it, I'm done with the sugar beets, I'm going to the pub, or he got kicked off somehow. So I'm going to have to finish up the rest of myself, but we'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for joining us. I, ho I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is kind of the first little foray into this um, live streaming thing, and we thought it would be a good idea to try it out. Being that he was available to help me do the sugar beets harvest and everything. So hope it went well. Hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate those who are subscribing. That's just awesome. Um, and like I said, I'll mention it again. We did set up a, um, a multiplayer... Uh, map on aggravation that I'm going to do a little little series on. So if you're interested in joining in on that map, send me a message on Facebook page or a comment on this video and then um, we can set that up and you can get the password to um, join on that. But it's, um, it's going to be uh, 15 day seasons at 15 times speed. Um, so it's like the second or third day into spring right now. We have four fields and the equipment and stuff. So we're going to try to do that. So if you want to join in on that, um, send me a message or make a comment here and I'll get a hold of you or whatever. Probably the best bet would send me a message on Facebook page and then uh, maybe set up a time. So pretty cool. But we'll end it there. Thanks a lot for joining me. I, pr I really, really appreciate it. Hope you, hope you laughed at um, our sugar beet harvesting and uh, attention to it. Um, until next time, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches.